This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... But why are you here talking to me? Because I saw you recording, following me recording, and I just wanted to know what you were doing. Oh, following you? Well, yeah, you, you specifically focused on me, focused on my vehicle all the way until you lost sight of me. Here are some uh, Ridley Report statistics that you may find interesting. Of all the videos that have ever, the, 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 top, t uh, the top ten Ridleyos that have ever aired, uh, eight of the top ten have the word cop in the title. And the other two of the top ten have either cops or bailiffs in them. As a as a prominent feature of the uh, of the story, the top Ridleyo of all time is called uh, "What to Do When Cops Order Camera Shut Off." I have no authorization whatsoever to allow anybody onto the property. Okay, and also I would rather not be uh, video and uh, audio recorded. And it's got about nine, oh, I guess, eight hundred thousand hits. And the second from the top is called a cop declines to detain open carrier. <laughs> That's not even a video. I was just uh, taking some uh, audio off of the Porcupine 411 feed and rerunning it. That got half a million hits. People just love videos about cops. And the cops don't have to be doing anything terrible. The, the, sometimes the, the videos get a lot of hits because the cops are doing something nice. In the old days, uh, on the Ridley Report back in 07, 08, I used to feel like uh, every video had to have a little bit of something to do with Ron Paul or have the word Ron Paul in the sub, you know, in the, not in the subject line, but but in the uh, video description somewhere. Because no one would watch a video that didn't have something to do with Ron Paul. I mean, Ron Paul was driving the hits back then. But now, I think it's sort of like cops have become the new Ron Paul in that sense. Um... Now it's like, if a video doesn't have the word cops in the video description somewhere, or if it's not about cops, um, then it's not going to get that many hits. People don't want to hear it from the general public. Here's another example. I did a video about Larkin Rose uh, 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 over the last week or so. And I guess it was a three-part series. It was basically just a Larkin Rose speech. And he's a tax protester. He's a pretty good speaker, pretty interesting. But the first two videos, I think they only got around, you know, three to six hundred hits during uh, their first week on the air. But the third one had the word cop in the subject line, because he was talking about cops. And that one got 1,600 hits in the first day. So it's just like, I think that one is probably about four times as popular as the other two. Which are basically the same guy talking with the same guy illustrating, you know, the same general subject matter. But just the word cop changes the whole dynamic. I guess this is just a reminder to all of us that um, while we are supposed to strike the root, um, it's not always possible. I mean, the, the thing we have to focus on is actually the tip of the... I should say, if we're going to strike the root of the tree of evil... We may have to focus on the thorns of the tree, and the thorns are the cops. They're not the root of the problem, but we just cannot deny anymore the, the fact that they are the driving force behind our publicity. Focusing on them is sort of the path to getting ourselves the attention that we need. Not necessarily because we want attention, but because you have to have attention, you have to seize control of the publicity. Uh, in order to seize a little bit of control over the debate. So don't be lied to by, sometimes the police like to, uh... The roots of the problem are basically central banking and public schooling. I can't think of anything, any other two things that would make better roots. But it's very hard to strike at those things. I mean, you cannot, um... It, it's hard to, to make visuals out of the Federal Reserve System and the, uh, the government's ability to create money out of thin air. It's hard to make good visuals out of public schools because they sort of, uh, they use the kids as human shields. Oh, you can't come in here and photograph because they're our kids. Uh, but we can sure as heck photograph what the cops do. They're doing it all over the place, all the time. And I guess that's just the way we're going to have to draw attention to our anti-federal reserve, uh, anti-government indoctrination movement. By the way, I thought this was interesting. The number five Ridley of all time is called uh, Activist Open Carries into Cop Shop. Well, I was leading a, you know, a relatively small, boring protest outside the police department over something they had done earlier. 
Uh, but uh, Neil Connor shows up with a sidearm and, you know, uh, walks into the uh, department to get his uh, prop, trying to get his property back from an incident. And uh, that that video's got 300,000 hits. Uh, and, you know, right next to it, the number the number seven video has almost as many hits. And it was shot right in the same location at another boring protest. But, um, you know, what happened is someone at the demonstration informed me that they um, that they had been pro- uh, that they had been uh, threatened by Manchester PD for recording. And they actually had a recording of this threat. So from visiting this demonstration, I was able to get another, you know, 250,000 hits. And so this, these, these little demonstrations that, that, uh, that I did outside the police department because they took my property, uh, you know, a cell phone, these little demonstrations resulted in a million, only like almost a million hits uh, almost by themselves just because they involved cops. Uh, so basically, you, you, uh, if you want efficiency uh, in the publicity that you're trying to generate for yourself... Cops are apparently the ticket. And the worse the police state gets, the easier it should be for us to draw ourselves the attention that we need to successfully achieve liberty. So, it's the same old drill as always, then, I guess. Strike at the root, focus on the thorns. You know how I'm always talking about the fact that if you go to the state house and you swing your fist, you hit a member of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. Well, I've never actually showed you any video of the, 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 the way the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance is able to just pack the State House full of liberty activists. Take a look at this. On this day, we had about 30 activists, I think, to fight for more freedom in New Hampshire and prevent the State House from passing bad bills. There have been times where we've had more like 50. Here they are meeting with the governor the same day. Then they've had quite a bit of legislative success, too. That's why I'm a member of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance, and hope you will be too. Find out more at nhliberty.org. nhliberty.org.